Hi, I'm going to show you how to add a chat application in Xamarin using Chat API in just a few minutes. Alright, let's get started. We'll start by creating a new Android project. To begin with, we will give our project a name. Let's call it My Chat App. Now click on Next and finally create. As you can see, the project is getting created. We can begin as soon as this is done. Okay, awesome. It's ready. As you can see, the project has been added successfully. You can see the main activity. Next step is to add packages. In nugget.org, you can search for Comet Chat. As you can see, there are four packages available. We will select Android and Android Comet Chat UI. Once you click on Add Packages, it will take some time to actually reflect. It now says that two packages have been added successfully. You can check the same under Packages. Here we go Comet Chat and Comet Chat UI. Our next step is to configure our project. To do so, we will go to our project, which in my case is my chat app. Just right click and go to select options. And under options, you will be required to enable multidex. And then move to advanced and increase the Java heap size to 2G. And then you can click on OK. To effectively reflect the changes in the project, we will rebuild our application, which will take some time and we can resume as soon as it's done. Okay, so now the build has been completed. Now next step would be to create a button. You can see there is a button available by default. So we will be using the same. Let's remove the method and we will write initialize commit chat method. Quick fix generate a method. Okay. Now inside this method, we will write a code to initialize uh, commit chat. And but before we do that, we will create a variable commit chat. All right, commit chat and quick fix using commit chat core SDK's referrals. Okay, so now we'll have to initialize that commit chat variable in initialize commit chat method. So commit chat equals to commit chat dot get instance and we will pass this dot application context insight. Okay, so now we will need to initialize commit chat internally. For that we will use commit chat dot initialize method. Okay. So the proper code for this is with parameter is this. And this first parameter is URL. In case of cloud license, you don't have to pass that. Second is license key. We'll create a variable for license key over here. Okay. And API key. You can find both of these values from commit chat admin panel. So next is commit chat callbacks. So we'll quick fix this by using commit chat additions. 
Now, this callbacks has two methods, initialize success and initialize fail. We will have to create two separate methods for both of them, initialize success and initialize fail. We'll be removing this exception. Okay. So now after commit chat has successfully initialized, we'll begin the code for commit chat login. We'll do that by commit chat dot login with UID method. The entire source code for this is this. Okay, so this method takes in parameter the HAH UID, which is the unique identifications of the user in your system in callbacks. So I'll create a variable UID. In our case, it's superhero01. Okay, just like above callbacks we'll have to create a new method for login success and login failed okay so after we have successfully logged in into comet chat now we're going to go for launching comet chat for launching comet chat we'll have to call comet chat dot launch comet chat method entire code for this is as follows okay so launch comment chat this first variable is activity which is the main activity reference you are passing Second variable is if you want to launch it in full screen mode or pop up mode. We will launch in pop up mode. Okay. And it has callbacks. Launch callbacks. These are separate callbacks which include success and fail. There is a chat room in callback uh, which basically gives you data whenever you join or leave a chat room then there is error if there is any error on message receive we will give you data when you receive the message so that you can manipulate the data and implant all the functionality in your application and there is user info callback and windows close so just like above we'll have to create this method in this activity so let's do that okay okay so now we're good to go we'll need to run the application by clicking on this button So now you can see the application is getting installed on my device. That's the screen of my device. Okay, so application has launched. We will click on this button to launch commit chat. Okay, so you can see commit chat has launched inside my application. It has recent tab, contacts, groups. You can go to any user. You can type a message. I will say hello and hi. You can also do audio call, video call in this application. It has groups as well, but in our case, we do not have any. As you saw, we integrated a full-fledged 
chat system into an application in under just 10 minutes. So that's all for how to add real-time communication to your Xamarin chat application with Comichat. I hope you found this helpful.